Welcome to 2024, and I don't think I'm the only one who's ready to put 2023 behind us. Last year was a really rough year for developers, but it's time to look forward, and I have some predictions. So whether you agree or disagree, let's have some fun in the comments. So let's start with AI. The hype cycle is real, and that hype cycle is going to continue probably through this year and into 2025 before things start to calm down. Now, a lot of people are panicking, and I want you to stop panicking, and here's why. If you look back at self-driving cars, the first self-driving car technology was demoed by Carnegie Mellon University back in the mid-90s. Here we are 30 years later, and we still don't have a fully autonomous self-driving vehicle in spite of Elon Musk promising one literally every year for the last eight years or so. The last 20 to 30% of any technology like this is really, really difficult to get right. We just had a major leap. LLMs are cool. They do some useful things. They will probably replace some of the lower hanging fruit, easy to replicate jobs in the near future, but they are a long way away from replacing software developers and financial professionals and other white collar jobs. So ChatGPT5 is going to come out. These models are going to continue to evolve, but they are not going to get exponentially better than they are today. And my prediction is that you are more likely to be replaced by a human that uses AI tools effectively than you are to be replaced by AI, unless the work that you're doing is easily templated. Next, let's talk about the job market. Now the job market in 2023 was abysmal. It was one of the worst years for jobs that I have seen, and that includes 2008 and the dot-com crash. But here's the good news, these things are cyclical. So the job market is starting to recover, I'm seeing people get offered more jobs, I'm seeing this start to improve. There will still be layoffs, but things are starting to return to somewhat normal. I'm still predicting that it's gonna be quarter two, maybe early quarter three, before things really start getting the slack taken out of the market, but things are going to get better. Now, the one caveat that could ruin my hiring prediction is interest rates, and here's why. A lot of businesses, when interest rates were so low, were taking on large amounts of debt to finance their growth and their operations. Well, these businesses generally don't pay this debt off right away. They like to refinance it and kind of kick the can down the road. Well, with interest rates going up so much, there is a risk that there are enough companies that are over leveraged on their debt that will have difficulties refinancing that, or if they are able to refinance it, the rates are going to drive up the prices on that debt so high that they won't be able to maintain their businesses. And that's gonna mean more layoffs and possibly foreclosures and acquisitions, which would impact hiring. I'm not sure how pervasive that problem is, but it is something you should keep an eye on. So if you're somebody who's at a place in their career where they are in demand, I would look closely at a company's balance sheet before I make a long-term commitment to working there. Now let's talk about the cloud. And in 2023, we saw some people start moving away from the cloud, including one of the teams at Amazon who moved away from their serverless lambdas. Now in June, DHH, founder of 37 Signals and Ruby on Rails, announced that his company was moving completely off the cloud and going back to a co-located solution, which was going to save them $1.5 million per year. Now, as somebody who's been in the field for a while, this is completely expected. There's always been kind of a pendulum effect where things move from mainframes to clients to web servers, back to clients and mobile. It's just something that happens on and off over time. And cloud is really expensive for the wrong type of company. And people have been jumping on that cloud hype train for a long time. Everybody wants those letters on their resume. So developers are pushing these solutions onto companies where it's not appropriate. And we're starting to see that kind of pull back. And people are starting to say, well, maybe microservices aren't the solution for every type of application. Now, as a software architect, this is just common sense to me, but the field tends to follow the influencers and what happens at conferences. And trust me, 
the cloud providers want you to spend more money, they are not going to encourage you to explore other solutions. But that is going to start happening in 2024. I think companies are getting wise to this. So don't overcommit to cloud in your skill set. And for my last prediction, let's talk about JavaScript. The JavaScript community is going to release at least half a dozen new frameworks. They're going to claim that existing frameworks are dying and they're going to throw a bunch of words around like non-blocking and high performance, regardless of whether it's true or not. And everybody's gonna jump from hype train to hype train. And if you take a drink every time a new package is added to NPM, you are going to have acute liver cancer by June. And finally, not a prediction, but more of an announcement, we have opened up our Discord server to the public. Now, there are still private areas where my subscribers to my courseware can hang out, but if you'd like to interact with the team, talk about coding, talk about the topics in this channel, you are welcome to join there. And I look forward to seeing you. Happy coding.